All right, Roger, thanks for joining us. Good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you. I'm not that good. But, <laughs> we'll, we'll lie. <laughs> we act like we like each well, other. We do, we do. <laughs> um, Raj, last night with Tehran, mm -hmm. he was struggling. There was shots of you in the dugout. What was that about? Well, more than anything, it was just out of frustration, you know. I mean, uh, here's, a, here's a young man who just made his first All-Star team, and he's had a terrific first half of the season. And, you know, it's... Uh, something that I think every young pitcher goes through. We went through it when we were young. It's, it's uh, kind of understanding that you know, every time we go out there, we're not going to have our A stuff, and sometimes we're going to get hit. No, it's, uh, it's, it's the young, young starting pitcher in the big leagues and understanding the process and you know, the, the, uh, the games that we play uh, over a six-month period and the starts of 30 starts, you're going uh, to have some clunkers along the way. And he is only 23. Yeah, he's, he's 23 and very young. And as we know, he's, uh, he hopefully has a very bright future ahead of him. And, but uh, you know what? The, even, the, even the good ones, they have clunkers. i got to ask you this. You have become, in all sincerity, complete 100% sincerity, you have become one of the best pitching coaches, if not the best pitching coach in the major leagues. And I'm not saying that because we're friends. I'm saying that because I looked at the stats. I paid you a lot of money. And you, and you gave me 100 bucks. Okay. No, you, your numbers back it up. In the last five, six years, the worst you've been in team ERA at the end of the year is fourth. Other than that, you've been one, two, or three. With a staff that's rolled over a lot, what is it that you value? I really don't think it's so much me. I think it's the, the environment you create. I think uh, when, you, when you create an environment, uh, as our, our club does, uh, the organization does, you, you create an environment of, uh, of comfortable um, knowing that the young pitchers, especially young pitchers, are going to make mistakes. Uh, they're going to go through growing pains. Um, but I think the most important thing you know, that, that we do um, and have, have done here since I've been here is, is preach uh, fastball command. And when uh, I think uh, a young pitcher has that ability, to, and, and all of our pitches come off the fastball, you know, and, and uh, if we're not able to command a fastball, you, you know, you hear good pitchers at the end of a good game, starting pitchers especially, the, you, know, you say, well, you know, what was working? Well, you know what? I, I commanded my fastball and he, real good. And, and uh, when I was in behind counts, I was able to make pitches, uh, not only with the fastball, but with the off-speed pitches. So, you know, we, we've done a great job uh, in this organization of um, promoting young pitchers, um, developing young pitchers. When they get up here, it's not so much of um, relearning situations. It's just teaching and continuing to teach. What is it that makes you guys so competitive each and every year, starting with your pitching staff? What is that little ingredient, or is there not one, or is it just because you're just so talented? What if we seriously, if we knew that, we uh, we wouldn't be doing this, you know? And I don't know. I mean, it's just um, you know the competitiveness that that uh, drives you each and every day. I mean, you know, this game really is, um, although it's a game, we know at the end of the day, you know. Your battle. It's a battle, and and you go into battle, and you go out there, and and you battle for nine innings, and hopefully at the end of the day you're on top and you score one more point than the other team. But uh, you know, I mean, especially against the Mets, and and I told Mr. Wilpon this, I told you know, I told Terry this last year, and, and that staff over there, Bobby Garen and Danny Worth, and um, this club, this Met club, plays us the hardest throughout the course of the year than any club that we play against. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a grind and it's a battle. And it's, you know, I don't want to say it's a war because it's not a fair fair assessment, but it's, it is. It's, you know, you, you throw your heart out there and and uh, leave your heart out there in, in the game. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can look at the mirror at the end of the day and say, you know what, I, I gave everything I had today. Well said by Roger. Thank you, Roger. I really appreciate it. And Mets fans, that's something to hold on to. The Mets play this team, a perennial winner, harder than anyone. Thank you. Thank you very much again, Roger. Absolutely, Bob. Always good to see you. <laughs>